Hey guys, so in today's video, I'm sharing how I made over my lower level family room. But before we get started, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please take a moment and subscribe. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so that you don't miss out on any videos and hit it twice. So I'm gonna take you back to the beginning when I first moved into my home and what the basement looked like then. The room was dark, the furniture was bulky and oversized for the space, but we did the best with what we had. And I always wanted to lighten and brighten the space. And over the years, I have made many different uh, transformations to get this room to where it is today. Now, if you guys remember back in the summer, I painted the space and it felt like I was on the road to a light and brighter room. But I always wanted to replace the sofa and the love seat, but it was just never a priority. So in the meantime, I covered them both with slip covers. And I told myself that this was going to be the year that I would concentrate on replacing the sofa and the love seat. So when a company called Hanbei Furniture reached out to me and asked if I would review one of their sofas, it seemed like the perfect timing. Now, if you're not familiar with Hanbei, they are an online store and they specialize in modular sofas in many different styles and colors and so when the sofa arrived i was a little suspicious that they were packed in four boxes they were packed very well and what i liked about it is that the cushions were stored inside the base of the couch very convenient <laughs> and so once the couch was um unpacked the cushions needed to expand over a 48 hour period and then there was some steaming required. And it was very, very easy to assemble. So I want to thank Hanbei for sending out this sofa. So as you can see, I chose a beautiful gray sectional and it is in a compact size, which is perfect for the space. It has nice detail such as nail heads and tufting. And it also came with a matching ottoman. So I will leave all the details to this sofa as well as the website information in my description box below. So let's go ahead and get the room decorated and thanks so much to Hanbei for sending out this beautiful sofa. So as you can see in the back, I have my table with the two chairs, which will be coming out. I have a, another table over here that I'm going to bring into the space and then I'm going to bring two other pieces in and a couple other chairs and it's just going to transform the space hopefully into something beautiful. Okay guys, so I have these two bookcases that I may put in place of the table. I'm not exactly sure right now how they're going to be positioned. I might also put them, move the console table down a little bit and then place one on either side of the console table. I'm not exactly sure, but I think I want these to go in the corner. And so what I'm gonna do is paint them. For right now, I'm going to paint them out in an ivory color that I use a lot around my home. And so I'm gonna start there and see where I end up. Uh -huh. 
All right, guys, so I couldn't decide whether I wanted the bookcase light or dark, and so I went for the dark color. Now, it's a little dark right now for my taste, but I'm going to go ahead and get the room set up and then see if I like it, and then I'll make a decision later, and that's where you guys can come in and help me on that decision. Okay, so are you guys ready to see how everything turned out? I think I have created a nice clean atmosphere and I really like the way it turned out. So I'm excited for you guys to see. So the bookcase was custom matched by Sherwin Williams. I took a dresser drawer into Sherwin Williams and they used their computer to match the color and I think they did an excellent job.
the artwork. I wanted to bring in several shades of gray so that it would pick up the gray in the sofa, the gray here on the console and the bookcase, and then other grays that I have around the room. It works perfectly with the Revere Pewter, which is the wall color, and it is a warm gray, and I really love the way it turned out. Okay, and so in the corner here, I have a high bar table, which replaced the table that used to be in the corner over here. And I like it so much better here because now I can see the TV from this angle. Okay, so here is the side where we have the sofa and I am so thrilled with the way this side turned out as well. I think this sofa is perfectly sized for the space and I got rid of the oversized lazy boy and I replaced it with this smaller chair. So guys, I just wanna say nothing here was new um, to complete this space. If I didn't mention it before, the bookcases were garage sale pieces that I had um, probably for about four years now and I just never really did anything with them. And so today's the day and I think they turned out great. I wanna thank Hanbei for sending this sofa over. I think it is the perfect size for this space. And if anyone is interested, there will be information in my description box about the sofa and so my sofa here is a five seat sectional that includes an ottoman and the ottoman does flip over i'll show you in a, another clip and it serves as a tray so i want to thank you guys for watching and i hope you enjoy seeing my basement from beginning and this is definitely not the end you know me I'm probably going to change again but that's okay